Hi, welcome again and you are watching ITTV with me, Joel, your tutor for mathematics in Form 4 KBSM. Today, we are going to look at Lesson 3 of Chapter 1. Alright, in our first two lessons, we have looked at the whole idea of significant figures, how to identify them, and in our second lesson, how do we round off a certain number to a specific number of significant figures to determine the accuracy and precision that we want and we require. Alright, today in lesson 3, we will be looking at the computation of numbers and stating the answers to specific numbers of significant figures. Alright, that brings us to our segment of Mathematics in Life. Actually, you are the reason all right, why we need to do this lesson today. Why? Because in our daily lives, we always involve the use of solving problems. We are involved with calculations almost every day in everything that we do. It involves mathematics. So, if we want to find and to put an answer in a specific number of significant figures, first of all, we have to solve a problem and then to state the answer in the specific number of significant figures that we want. All right, let's look at how do we perform operations involving mathematics. All right, you know that you have learned before that the system of Bodmus is used. Why Bodmus? Bodmus is very important because it tells you the specific order in how to carry out mathematical operations. Which one to operate first? According to Bodmus, the order of operation is very important in mathematics. In Bodmus, B stands for bracket. It means that when you see a bracket, you must always calculate it first. Second, O stands for of power. When a number has a certain power, that needs to be done secondly. D stands for division. So after that, divide. Followed by M for multiplication, A for addition, and S for subtraction. So Bodmus is used to carry out operations involving addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division on numbers. And remember, the order of operation is very important and you must follow it in accordance with the Bodmus system. Alright, sometimes it is quite difficult okay, to remember. Okay, so an easy way to remember that Bodmus also stands for Big orangutans destroy mice and snails. Alright, just an easy way for you to remember the order of operations need to be done in mathematical computations. Alright, now let's move on to our first example. Alright, find the value of each of the following and give your answer correct to the number of significant figures stated in the bracket. Alright, so now we we'll just look at our first example. Alright, in this mathematical operation involving three numbers, we have two operators here. That is plus and divide. So what to do first? According to Bodmus, you cannot simply do according to how you wish. You need to follow the Bodmus system. And in the Bodmus system, division comes before addition. So you would need to perform the division of the numbers first. So in order to see which one to do first, just bracket the operation that needs to be done first. So leave out 4.127 okay, because it is not involved yet and the plus sign and then use your calculator to compute 9.28 divided by 0 0.04 and you will get 232 
And then now we have just left with the adding operation. And since it's the only one, add it to 4.127 and you will obtain an answer of 236.127. Okay, but look, this is the initial answer in six significant figures. We would like to round it off to three significant figures. So in our previous lesson, we have rounded off a number. If we want to round it off to three significant figures, underline from left to right the first three significant figures. One, two, and three. And look at the next digit after the underlined digit. Is it more or less than five? So one is less than five. We do not need to add one to six. So the answer for this question with an accuracy of three significant figures will simply be 236. And don't forget to write okay, the level of accuracy of rounding. All right, just a quick glance back okay, at this question. And there you go. The answer correct to three significant figures is 236. All right, now let's move on to more operators. In example B, find the value of each of the following and give your answer correct to the number of significant figures stated in the bracket. All right, you can look at question B. All right, and you must round off the final answer to four significant figures. And that is the level of accuracy that we want for this particular. Let's work out the solution for example B on the board. All right, as you can see, in this question, how many operators are there? There's a divide, there's a times. But most importantly, the bracket must be done first. Why? Because in Bortmer's system, the bracket is done before any other operations. All right, so use your calculator and get the value of the numbers inside the bracket. Okay, 896.2 minus 5.65 and the answer, 890.55. Okay. So rewrite the rest of the operations because it will be done after this. All right, next. We are left with two operations, divide and times. The division, so you know which numbers need to be divided. So now use your calculator and find the value of the result of the division. All right, you will get 12.722. Okay, and then now multiplication and multiplied by 2.4. So if you look at your calculator, the answer is actually longer than this. Eh? It is to an unlimited number of significant figures. So we need to round it off to four significant figures. And what is the technique to round off? Underline the first four significant figures from left to right. One, two, three, and four. And then what is the next step? Look at the next digit after the last underlined digit and check whether it is more or less than 5. It is less than 5, 3, so we did not add 1 to the previous digit. So the answer for this question, when rounded off to 4 significant figures, will be 30 .53. And that is the level of accuracy. So another quick glance, okay. you should get an answer of 30.53 correct to four significant figures. So it doesn't matter how many operations are there in the mathematical statement, you can always organize 
from the first operation to the last following the Bodmer system. And if your answer needs to be rounded off to a specific number of significant figures, round it off using the rounding off method of significant figures. Okay, now let's just look at problems that involve significant figures. Take a look at this example. The length of a rectangle is two times its width. Given that the perimeter of the rectangle is 24.12 meters, find the area in meters square, giving your answer correct to three significant figures. Alright, let's work out this solution on the board. Alright, from the question, the length of a rectangle is twice its length. So, in order to start off the solution, always help yourself to understand what must be done first. Alright, since a rectangle is involved here, why don't let us just sketch a rectangle. Alright, now, the rectangle's length is twice its width. So since we do not know the length and the width of the rectangle, we have to denote the length or the width as an unknown, x. So let the width be x meters. So it means that if the width is x meters, the length, which is twice, will be 2 times x meters. And this is given from the question. Alright, now, before we can find the area of this particular rectangle and round the answer to three significant figures, we must find what is x. Because x remains an unknown. How do we find that? It is given that from the question, the perimeter of the rectangle is 24.12 meters. So write it down. The perimeter is 24.12 meters and how is the perimeter obtained by summing up the length of all sides so this side is 2x this side is x all right and since it's a rectangle it will be 2x and x so it is actually 2x plus 2x plus x plus x and it will give you 24.12 so 2x plus 2x 4x plus 1x 5x plus 1x, 6x. So 6x is 24.12. Now, what is the value of 1x? The value of 1x is 24.12 divided by 6. And what is the value of 24.12 divided by 6? 4.12. Zero two. And what is x? x is the width of this rectangle. So now, because we know the value of x, we are able to answer the question, which is to find the area of this rectangle. And the area of a rectangle is the product of its length and its width. So it is 2x times x. And since we know the value of x, substitute the value of x which is 4.02 and hence find the area of the rectangle. So the area of the rectangle should give you 32 0.3208 but now this answer is six significant figures we want to reduce it in the question to three significant figures so let's round off the answer three significant figures start from the left one two and three look at the next digit after the last underlined digit and it is less than 5, we need not add 1, 2, 3. 
So the answer for this problem will be 32.3 and this is correct to three significant figures. So when answering a problem, all right, obtain the necessary information before rounding it off to the final level of accuracy that is needed. Okay, so the solution of this uh, problem again. All right, now, why don't you try some problems yourself? Okay, the first one. Remember, when you are performing operations, always follow the Bodmer's system. Okay. The answer for A. Okay. What about B? And the answer for B, 17.84. And now, calculate the value of each of the following and give your answer correct to the number of significant figures indicated in the bracket. Alright, remember, when you perform an operation, the answer is not necessarily in the amount of significant figures that you want. Look at the bracket. Round off the answer correct to three significant figures. Okay, after rounding off, 33.1. Okay, round off the question in B to four significant figures, you should get 210.8. Okay, in C, round off the question in C to four significant figures. And you should get an answer of 55.16. All right, now, let us look at one more question that involves solving problems involving significant figures. A right circular cone of radius 3.2 cm has a height of 4.7 cm. Calculate the maximum amount of water in cm cube that it can hold correct to 5 significant figures and assuming pi is 3.142. All right, let's do this together. Okay, when solving a problem, it's very important to start off well. Okay, in questions like this and the earlier one, always sketch, okay, if there is a geometrical solid or object, always sketch it first, okay? So in this question, a cone is involved. And what information do we have about this cone? This cone has a radius of 3.2 centimeters. So the radius of this cone, which is the length from the center to the side, is 3.2 centimeters. What else do we know about this cone? Its height is 4.7 centimeters. And the height of the cone is 4.7 centimeters. Now, what do we need to round off? We need to round off the volume of water that can be contained by this cone correct to five significant figures. All right, now, what is the volume of solid cone? Okay, the volume of a cone, okay, as you have learned before, is given by the formula one over three pi r square times its height. So now, we need to substitute the values. Eh? And what is the value of pi? Okay, from the question, assuming that pi is 3.142 multiplied by the square of the radius. And the radius is 3.2 cm, hence the square will be 3.2 square and lastly the height of the cone which is 4.07 okay please use your calculator now to find the volume of water that can be taken by this cone okay. 
All right, you should obtain a volume of, okay, look at the screen of your calculator, 50.406058677 centimeters cube. And one look at this answer, it contains too many significant figures. Too many. So we want to reduce it to a level that is good enough for us to state the volume okay, for people to read. And five significant figures. How do we round it off to five significant figures? Start off from the first significant figure from the left to the right. And since we want to round it off to five significant figures, underline the first five digits. And then check the next digit. Is it more or equal to five or less than five? Zero is less than five. So we need not add any digit to the previous underlined digit. So the volume of water when rounded off to a significant figure of five will be 50.406 and this is correct to five significant figures. So you should get 50.406 centimeter cube. All right, guys, we have come to the conclusion of lesson three. So now we have come to the conclusion of lesson three. And what have we learned today in lesson three? Today, we have learned how to compute and state the answer of problems in the number of significant figures that is required. And why do we do that? This is because sometimes the answers from problems contain too many significant figures. All right, so we reduce the number of significant figures to a level of accuracy that is wanted. So we have come to the conclusion of significant figures. Thank you for watching.